This is our youngest daughter, Lydia. She's three years old. She started having seizures when she was one year of age. We did not recognize the seizures for several months. She would um, stare off in space for two, three, four seconds at a time, then return to her normal activities. We assumed that she was a daydreamer. She also was frequently fatigued, took long naps, and we attributed that to medication that she was taking for her severe asthma and allergies. She was at preschool one day when I got a call from the teacher saying that she had stopped breathing and that I needed to rush over there. When I arrived, she was with the paramedics. They told me they believed she was in a postictal state and asked if she had any history of seizures. The seizure was um, actually caught on nanny cam that they had cameras installed in the school and we later were able to show um, the neurologist that video. When I spoke to the teachers, they told me that she had fallen, but they recognized immediately it was not a normal fall. They went over to her. She um, was slim when they picked her up. Her lips were blue, and they immediately called 911. When she had her EEG performed, it was full of seizure activity. Um, when the neurologist told us, that she did indeed have epilepsy and that she was having several dozen absent seizures a day. Um, I was immediately struck with uh, anxiety and fear. I was fearful for her future, for her um, cognitive development. Would she excel in school? Would she do well in school? Um, would she have a future as far as getting a job, um, having a family, um, having the life that I had imagined for her? I was also fearful of any stigma that could be attached with epilepsy. I was afraid um, that she would be ostracized by peers, by other children, that she would not feel um, the same as them, and that she would be made fun of and bullied. I was also consumed with a lot of guilt because I did not recognize her seizures for several months. Um, we had just assumed she was a daydreamer and never dreamed that these were actually seizures. I felt a lot of guilt because I have a medical background and I felt that I should have known what was going on all along and never recognized what was going on right under my nose. Now we know that um, there should not be the fear associated with epilepsy that I had at first. Um, for our daughter, her type of epilepsy was very easily controlled with medication. She takes one medication twice a day and within a couple months we noticed her seizures decrease in frequency and um, she is currently seizure free and so we, we praise God for that. We're very, very excited for her for that. Um, the fear that I had for the stigma attached with epilepsy, that is gone. Um, the Talk About It organization, the Epilepsy Foundation of America, um, have encouraged me to know that there are so many people living with epilepsy and that there doesn't need to be any shame with this. Um, not that I felt shame that she had it, I was afraid that that was what other people would view, that she um, had something to be ashamed of. And now I realize there's so much awareness going on out there um, that there's not that fear. Um, I also have forgiven myself for the guilt I felt for not recognizing her seizures. I now know immediately um, what her seizures look like, and if I had had any idea that this was going on, of course I would have taken her and immediately had her evaluated. Um, I think it's hard when it's your own child sometimes to see what's going on. And we already um, have dealt with so much with her health in other areas as far as severe food allergies and asthma um, that I think I didn't want to see one more thing that was going on with her. But um, we're so thankful that she's doing well. We're thankful to her doctors, to the medical community, to organizations. Um, like this that help raise awareness and if you have epilepsy there's so much hope and we pray that you will get the help that you need and that you um, have uh, lots of support around you. Thank you. Say bye.